hi guys welcome back to my channel I am so happy to have you guys back in today's video I will be showing you how you can create this super cute DIY unicorn centerpiece using a Dollar Tree vase you do not want to miss out stay tuned and watch how I assemble this beautiful masterpiece also we are giving away two free Cricut machine to two of our contestants. If you want to be a part of our giveaway for a chance to win, after this video, go to the elegantcreators.com slash Cricut giveaway to apply. This was a highly requested video. I had posted this picture in my Facebook a while ago and asked, would you like to see me create this unicorn centerpiece? And I had about probably over 2,000 likes and a lot of interactions of people who wanted to see this DIY. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. Don't forget to comment your thoughts below and share this video with a friend. To start off with glassware, you want to make extra sure the surface is clean. You should always clean your glassware with alcohol for about at least 10 minutes before you spray paint. Just take like either a cotton ball or a lint free cloth to wipe away any handprint or any dust. The rubbing alcohol step is important because it helps the spray paint to adhere to the surface properly. Now my face is done drying up and just look how beautiful the finish is. It's nice, it's smooth, it's clean, shine. It looks absolutely stunning, you guys. Now we're gonna start off by the next step and that is by taking the vase, placing it down on a cardstock paper that you have, okay? Now if you have a foam board, you can also do that process on a foam board too. This is the part that we're going to use to add to the top of your vase so that you can add your ears, okay? I'm going to use a pen to trace the top part opening of my vase onto my cardstock paper. Now, you could choose to use a pencil if you're afraid of messing up. Come and fly away with me. Come and fly away with me. Come and fly away with me. Come, come and fly away with me. Now that I'm done cutting out my perfect circle, this little unicorn piece right here that you see here, it is like a little unicorn hat like kids use for parties to put on their head. It came with some flowers. I took those flowers out because they were pretty flimsy and I didn't like how they looked. So the only part I kept was the, the, the gold unicorn and the ears and the little pink tulip that it came with. I thought that little part was cute so I left that as well. So I just dis dissembled the whole thing and I decided to do my own thing with it. So what I'm going to do is the little circle that you see that I have just cut out. I'm going to go ahead and put it underneath the little pink tulu that you see here. So I'm going to use my hot glue gun to glue my little tulu right on top of it. Now I have my unicorn little piece right here sitting right on top of my vase and it looks so cute you guys, so 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 cute. You're gonna go ahead and cut around your eyelashes. The reason why I printed out these type of eyelashes is because it's pretty thick which makes it pretty easy to cut with these scissors. So let's go ahead and cut it and after that we're gonna go ahead and proceed on to the next step. These cute little unicorn eyelashes, I found them on Pinterest. All I just did is I just googled printables for unicorn eyelashes and I came across these cute little eyelashes. I love how they look. So I just printed out on cardstock paper. Now 
this process is easy. Now for you to um, put the eye and you're going to use your hot glue to get it to stick. Now for your ears and horns to stay in place, you want to make sure that you hot glue it to the top of your vase. But before you do that, if you want to hang like balloons onto your centerpiece, I use my floor pen. pen. That part is optional. You don't have to do that process. And so, so I just poke a hole through the cardstock. It goes right underneath it like that. And this is how underneath it look. Once I added the cardstock paper. But this is what I did because I wanted to be able to hang some balloons. Um, to my centerpiece, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and glue my horn and my ears to the top part of the vase by using my hot glue, okay? But before you do that, you can choose to add your eyelashes, like a little bit of the glue. Now I'm all done adding the eyes and just look how pretty that looks. So now I'm done hot gluing my horns and my ears onto the vase. I'm going to go ahead and add my flowers. So now here's all the beautiful pretty foam flowers that I will be using to add onto my centerpiece. I will put the link in the description box below exactly on where I purchased every item. Also guys, I wanna quickly give you guys a brief announcement. I'm super excited to announce that we do manufacture these foam flowers where you can purchase it on our Elegant Creator Store on Amazon. And you're gonna do it a second time to the next flower that you would like to add your leaves. I add the leaves at the end of each flower. I'm going to take my hot glue and I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue this flower that you see here to the very top part of my vase. And this hand I'm using lavender, I'm using blush, and I'm using aqua, this turquoise. I'll say go ahead and add your flowers first and then you could choose where you want to add your eyes. Whether you want to add it a little bit closer up or whether you want to add it a little bit closer down. So that option is completely up to you, but I suggest you doing those steps first. And then I added these little leaves towards the end here, as you can see. Each of the ends have those little leaves, which I think looks so cute. I'm not quite done yet. I am going to add two more flowers to the top part you see right here. This little unicorn centerpiece is super versatile. You could use it to decorate your little daughter's room. You could use it for parties. You could use it for any occasions you would like to use it for because it's super versatile. And I'm telling you guys, it's so cute. And I think these little ears are just so cute and the horn are cute, the eyelashes. You can do so much with this. You can have so much fun with this centerpiece. Comment below and let me know what do you guys think of how it turned out. Will you be trying to create this? And if you do create it, what color flowers would you use? I personally love these color flowers because it is the unicorn colored flowers. They look so cute. You can also pair it with this cute little gift bag that you can use to add as part of your decor. I think the two match just perfectly. And guys, the beauty about these little cute centerpieces is you can actually recreate it yourself and also sell it as well. Especially right now, there's like a really high market for unicorn themed parties or anything unicorn. So you can definitely recreate this and decide to sell them yourself. If you was to recreate this and sell it, how much 
would you have sell this for? So comment below and let me know. Something at the edge of space